In this video, I'm going to evaluate the integral of tan of the square root of x over the square root of x dx. So first, we're going to use a u substitution, where we let u equal the square root of x, which we can rewrite this as x to the 1 half. So then du equals 1 half x to the minus 1 half dx, which we can write this as 1 over 2 square root of x dx. Now we can isolate dx on one side by multiplying both sides by 2 root x. So we have that 2 root x times du equals dx. Now we can use this initial u substitution to simplify our integral a bit. So this becomes the integral of tan of the square root of x, which is u, all over the square root of x times dx, which is 2 square root of x du. So these square root of x's cancel out. And then I have a constant 2 that can come on the outside. So this is 2 <coughs> times the integral of tan of u du. Now we have to evaluate the integral of tan of u du. So how are we going to do that? Well, first let's rewrite this as 2 times the integral of tan, which we know is sine over cosine. So we can write this as sine of u over cosine of u du. Now, I see that I have sine and cosine, which are kind of derivatives of each other. So I'm going to perform another u substitution, where now I'm going to let, well, we've already used u, so I'm going to use the variable t. So I'm going to let t equal cosine of u, so then dt is equal to minus sine of u du. So if I want to isolate du on uh, one side, I can just divide by minus sine of u. So I have dt over minus sine of u equals du. Now we can try using this u substitution. So I have 2 times the integral of sine of u all over cosine of u, which I said is t, and then du we said is dt all over minus sine of u. So I have some cancellation here, and I can take this negative si sign to the outside. So I have minus 2 times the integral of 1 over t dt. And so I know how to take the integral of 1 over t dt. That's just going to be the natural log of the absolute value of t plus c. Now we have to be careful because we have to plug in all of our substitutions. So first, we'll start off with t. So this is minus 2 times ln of t, which is cosine of u. And now we have to plug in u again. So this is equal to minus 2 times the natural log of cosine of u, which is the square root of x. Now this is our final answer. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And if there are problems you'd like to see solved, feel free to email them to ashmath1729 at gmail.com.